Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Sister Melissa, and I'm going to be your teacher today. And guess what? I can't wait for you guys to hear our exciting lesson that we have today. But before we get started, you know what we have to do first. That's right. Let's pray. Let's look to the Lord. Think of that special someone you want to pray about. Or if you just want to say thank you to God, that's what I want you to do right now. Are you ready? Close our eyes, bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. We thank you, Lord, for watching over us, for giving us an opportunity to come together to be able to have Sunday school, to look at your word, Father. We thank you so much. We thank you for our parents, our grandparents, our aunts and uncles and cousins. We pray for our pastor, Bishop Smith and Sister Smith. We ask, Lord, that you continue to bless them, Father God, and bless their family. Lord, we thank you right now because we know that there is no one like you. You are our God and our creator. You are our protector and our provider. We just ask, Lord Jesus, that you continue to watch over us, continue to bless us, and help us to learn something new about how you want us to live. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. Today's lesson is justice for all. Now today, we have two big words. The first word is justice. And the second word is commandments. Do you know what justice means? Well, justice means doing what's fair, doing what's right. This means to give out something that is deserved it's gonna either be a reward or a punishment. So let me explain what I mean by that. So let's say you clean up your room. Then the justice would be your parents giving you a high five and saying, great job, maybe even some ice cream. Or let's say you do something wrong and your parents tell you that you can't watch your favorite TV show for the next two days because of something that you did wrong. That's justice too. In this case, we're talking about you giving out justice. You're probably saying, well, what does that mean? Here we have Tom and Jerry. This is a cartoon from a very long time ago. And you actually probably can go back and watch Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry did not get along. The reason this is showing us what it means to do the right thing is because we see Tom sharing with Jerry. Isn't that exciting, boys and girls? Doing the right thing means to share your food. Here's our memory verse today. And this is from Exodus, chapter number 23, verse number 13. And this is what it says. Be sure that you obey all these laws. Don't worship false gods and you should not even speak their names. So the Lord wants us to obey his laws and do the right thing. So we should be praying, Lord, help me to obey with a good attitude, the right way, all the way, every day, so that I can do the right, the right thing. thing. How do we do the right thing? Well, I can explain that to you. After God wrote the Ten Commandments and they were given to the children of Israel, which were their laws that they were supposed to live by, there were important instructions that God told them. And what these instructions did was told them how to please God each day. They taught them about justice and mercy. God wanted them to be honest and not to follow others who were doing wrong. And some of the wrong things that they were doing was that there were some people out there who never spent any time with God. And they had idol gods, gods that they made with their hands and they would worship them. But God wanted them to be fair and to even help their enemies. See, Jesus said, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. He also told them, if you have food, you should be sharing it with the poor. The next step of the rules 
reminded them about the Sabbath. And you're probably like, what's the Sabbath? The Sabbath was supposed to be a day of rest. It was a day that was set aside for God. Not every day is for God, but the Sabbath was a special day. That's when we would go to church and we would go to Sunday school and we would spend time with family and we would read our Bibles. Well, boys and girls, here are some things that you can do in order to do the right thing. If you have extra food, share it. Give someone a hug. Help with the chores around the house. Cheer someone on. Celebrate people when they do the right thing. Pick up the trash in the neighborhood. Guess what? Put up your toys <laughs> when your parents ask you to. Listen, boys and girls, what I want you to understand is that God has given us these commandments and has let us know that we are to do the right thing. Well, boys and girls, this is the end of our lesson. And this is what I want you to do. I want to challenge you to be a justice warrior. Jesus was a justice warrior. And guess what? He always did the right thing. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Go be a justice warrior like Jesus. All right. If you started to have that conversation with your family about being baptized, guess what? That's right. You can call the church at 773-373-8500. Or if you just need prayer, or if you want to add someone's name to the prayer list, that's right. Call the church at 773-373-8500. I want to thank you so much for joining us this week for Sunday School. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come together. We thank you for allowing us, Lord, to learn how to be justice warriors, how to do the right thing and follow your commandments, the laws that you have given us. You have told us to feed the poor. You have told us to take a day of rest, the Sabbath that we set aside for you. Help us, Lord, to do these things. Help us to try and do the right thing. Help us, Lord, not to follow those who are doing wrong. Bless our families. Bless our church family. Bless our pastor, Bishop Smith and Sister Smith. Give them strength, Father, and give them wisdom as they continue to lead us. We thank you for their work and all that they've done for us. We ask that you will bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye.